Okay, we're taking off up a big hill here. Go ahead, Jack. Well, nope. Oh, he made it. Good job. <laughs> Good job. Last Minute Man, and we are here today with the Roxor, and uh, we're doing our first scheduled oil change. This is the break-in period oil change at uh, 10 hours. So uh, I've got everything I need. I've got my oil, I've got my filter, and I've got my hands to work. So uh, we're gonna get here and show you how I do it. And uh, thanks to the guys at Cornerstone Equipment, that's where I purchased the, the filter and the oil and this beautiful machine. So uh, we're gonna get into it and show you how I do things. Stick with us. Okay, so first things first, let's verify what the uh, hours are on this. Now I realize I'm gonna have to uh, let this warm up this morning. But we can see we are at nine hours and 52.9 miles. So uh, I'm going to let this warm up. I'm about 20 minutes away from 10 hours. And that's about what I'm going to let this warm up for. So we will sit here in neutral. Got my parking brake on. And we will uh, come back and drain this oil. Okay, so while I was letting the vehicle warm up, I backed it out and rotated it around here. I was checking and there's uh, some liquid in the floor and uh, that is radiator fluid coming out. So I'll show you underneath. Okay, so if you can hear me, I'm underneath. You can clearly see where radiator fluid is coming out here. So what I'm gonna try after I get the oil change done is loosen this clamp, push the hose back further and reclamp it and see if that doesn't fix our issue. All right, now before we begin, uh, we got to make sure we got the right oil filter. And I got this up at uh, Cornerstone Equipment, and it is a K&N HP 2007. So I've got that. I've got some filter pliers to remove the old oil filter, and I got an adjustable wrench for the drain plug. Now, the uh, issue we found with the uh, radiator uh, coolant there leaking, uh, it looks like that clamp just might not be tight. So I'm going to tighten it down. And uh, I'll talk to the guys over there, see if I can't get some radiator fluid for it. All right, so I'm trying to put you on a position where you can see that oil drain plug. And uh, make sure you're wearing eye protection when you're doing this as well, because uh, fluids can spray on you. Now there's about seven quarts of oil in this, or seven and a half quarts is what should be in it. So make sure you've got the proper uh, stuff for that. Okay, it came right off. And make sure you got some shop rags. But I got my uh, copper gasket on here. I'm gonna wipe off, check the drain plug and there are some metal shavings to be expected. You know, it is the break-in oil change. So we'll get this wiped down, let this drain, and uh, see where we're at from there. And I want to mention, I've wiped this down here now. So if you can see this, let me get the camera. I just want to mention, you know, wipe it down. Make sure your uh, gasket is still on there and looking good, and this one is. But uh, make sure you get a nice drain on that because you want to make sure you get all the old oil out. Okay. Wow. The oil filter is located on the passenger side and uh, very easy to get to. But I'm going to use my filter pliers and break that loose. All right, I'm going to do my best here to ensure that you can see this. And uh, all right. I got a one man film crew here, folks. So I'm under here with my filter pliers. I'm gonna move this over to catch the oil that I can catch. I'm still letting it drain. I'm gonna inspect around the uh, the seal up here and uh, put a little oil on the new filter seal and uh, get her on there. But let's make sure we get a good drink. Okay, now if you can 
see, I'll show you. I, uh, using my Swiss Army knife here, <laughs> I loosened the collar on this. Let's see if I can get it in focus. Loosened the collar, and, uh, it was tight because fluid just went spraying everywhere when I loosened that. So I pushed the hose further back on the mail end, okay? And I'm going to tighten it back down. Uh, we didn't lose a ton of fluid, but we did lose a little. So I'm going to wipe this down real good, tighten that back up. And when we uh, fill it back up with oil and pressure check it, I'm going to be checking to see if that leak continues. All right. So just to show you folks at home, when you're installing the new oil filter, you want to make sure, of course, where the oil filter goes, you want to dry around there, which I did. Now, the new one, in order to get a good seal, take a little bit of this uh, fresh oil, uh, just lube up around the ring there, and that's going to give you a good seal on the filter. So, we'll get her put in, and then we'll pressure check it, and top her off, and see how she does. So, per the owner's manual, this takes 7 or 7.4 quarts. I'll flash that up on the screen for you. But I'm gonna go ahead and dump four quarts in, check it, and kind of see where we're at. This cap was a little difficult to get off. Had to pry around it with a screwdriver. Or always keep a Swiss Army knife with you. I got my name. All right, now I'm just gonna fire this up and do a pressure check. The oil's showing full. I put uh, six quarts in, so that's gonna drop once it gets in the filter. But we'll do a pressure check here, and uh, you watching at home, let me know if oil's spilling out. Now <laughs> right. we'll get up and check the dipstick and uh, rinse and repeat. Alright, so the oil is changed. And uh, you see if this is still leaking. And it appears, I don't want to speak too soon here, it looks like it stopped. So. Yep, we're not getting the drip there. It's looking good. And uh, what we are reporting, or I am reporting today, is that uh, this Mahindra Rocksor is awesome. Cornerstone equipment is awesome. Uh, went up there right after I filmed uh, the oil change and uh, told them about the uh, hose leak there. And uh, they, they just went ahead and gave me a whole new thing of uh, radiator fluid to put in it. And uh, I thought that was really awesome. You know, very nice of them to do that. Uh, easy company to work with. I highly recommend if you live anywhere in Northern Kentucky. Uh, they also have two other locations in, in Ohio and Indiana, but uh, they're an awesome company to work with and uh, just great guys and no questions asked. They, they gave me the uh, radiator fluid. So that was, that was pretty cool. But uh, therein lies the, the whole point to all this. Uh, when you have your, your first maintenance, I think it's very critical. Uh, on any vehicle, but uh, on anything, just get under there, look everything over, make sure you don't have leaks. Things can be overlooked from the factory. I checked all the differentials, I checked the uh, transfer case, and I checked the transmission uh, fluid level to make sure it matched what the owner's manual states. And uh, yeah, so everything was good. That was the only only thing was uh, that, that radiator hose leak, and that was just a, a simple, you know, sliding it back onto the mail end a little further and tightening it down. But uh, that could be catastrophic if you aren't paying attention 
and uh, your engine overheats, I mean, that, that's not good. So it's always a good idea to keep an eye on things. Doing your own maintenance is great because you will catch things like that. So uh, I'm very, very happy with this uh, Roxor and we are gonna put it through its paces this summer uh, here on the farm and you'll be seeing videos of that, you know, when I'm uh, mending fence or, uh, you know, planting my, planting my apple trees or, just whatever work I do here, you'll probably always see this thing with me. And uh, when Mr. Obvious and I do our uh, other reviews on firearms and whatnot, you'll see this as well. So this thing, it's gonna be a great hunting vehicle as well as a great utility vehicle. So I appreciate y'all watching. Uh, like and subscribe. Let me know if there's anything that I missed that you'd like to see, uh, that you'd like for me to talk about. But uh, remember, Keep your knife sharp, keep your powder dry. Follow us on Rumble, Last Minute Man.